tell me about your background, please? Um, okay, so talking about my background, mm -hmm. um, well, it was really eccentric. Um, we lived in Paddington. I was born in Maida Vale, actually. And when I was two, uh, my father found us a place in Paddington, mm. uh, near his studio. And, you know, he lived, basically, and worked in the same space. So it was like a live workspace. But it was at ours all the time. But he didn't live with us, and it was all very bizarre. Um, I always felt there was something wrong, you know, like... Something, there were no rules, no boundaries, no um, discipline. I was terrifying. I was anxious all the time, all the time, really, really anxious. And I think I tried to find meaning for myself. You know, I used to um, go to the local skip. And we lived on Fernhead Road and the skip. It wasn't really a skip. It was like outside a greengrocer's shop. They had old orange box lids. And I'd bring those in and paint on them. And I just loved finding things and painting on them. But they had to be objects, and it's really weird, because it's what I do now. Yeah. I paint on objects and not on paper or canvas. I paint on canvas, but then I make it into an object. So it's all about the objects. So that started really young, to try and make meaning by bringing things together, objects together. Um, and I think I, I really didn't... Think there was any other way of um, expressing yourself because remember both my parents were artists so my mother she did painting at St Martin's and then she um, did fashion after that and so she was always cutting up material and making interesting things and painting sometimes anyway there were paints galore sometimes my father painted in our basement so I thought it was the way of life somehow to make things paint things you know it was just what you did I thought everybody did it um, so, I think the interesting thing is the fact that I started so young to try and make sense of life because it didn't make sense. Um, I don't know what other people's childhoods are like, but I certainly felt that I had to invent a, a way of life. Mm. Uh, I had to invent meaning. Um, I think art became a sort of religion for me uh, because I really needed something. I really wanted to believe in something. I believed in fairies and, you know, all those things, the Tooth Fairy and Father Christmas. And, you know, as those things fell away, they were substituted with art. Yeah. So that, became, that contained all the magic for me.